Local 4 News starts now with a severe weather alert. Well, it may have arrived fashionably late, but the snow is now falling in earnest across the southern half of our state. Areas such as Ann Arbor, which you see here, are starting to see more accumulation of snow that's wet and very heavy. Let's take a live look at the roads on I-75 near Clarkston. In some places, it's been uh, really more slush than snow, but these next few hours could be key for the road crews hoping not to fall behind. And there's a snowstorm sampler, live pictures from Livonia, Rochester, and Mount Clemens. We've got you covered across all the counties. This is one of the more dynamic winter storms we've seen, and while the projected snow totals have been lowered, make no mistake, it is piling up. As we hit the 6 o'clock hour, let's turn it over to Paul, getting a Winter Olympics mindset so far, right? Yeah, bring the games here, I'll tell you <laughs> yeah. what. Hey, we've got some new snowfall reports that just came in. Four and a half inches now in Ann Arbor, Sterling Heights at four inches, Clarkston now up to six, 6.2 in Howell, 5.4 in Pinckney, and we have three inches in Canton as of 5.25 this afternoon. So the snow was slower to change over than expected for the southeastern part of the area. So, well, when more of it falls as rain, less as snow, well, that cuts into those snow totals to the southeast. All right, right now in Storm Tracker 4, if you are just tuning in for the first time this afternoon, yes, it is snowing here. Just the Detroit radar is down, but we have all the surrounding radars. And you can see we still have this area right here. This is very heavy snow yet to move through the area. But notice once we get past that, it starts to get a little bit lighter. So as we move through the evening hours, the snow is going to continue, even increase a bit. But then as we approach the midnight hour, things are going to start dwindling down gradually. And by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, uh, not a lot going on. All right. Temperatures are going to fall through the 20s this evening into the mid 20s by midnight. So the snow that's falling kind of transitions from the sticky wet snow we had earlier to just a bit more of a fluffier snow by the time we get to the later evening hours. Don't forget the local forecasters app has everything you need. And again, on a day like this, you need our real time live radar. It's free. The app is completely free. It's the best weather app in the nation. Just go to the app store and you can do that by holding up your smartphone to the screen here. Scan the QR code. It takes you right there where you can download the app. It's really easy easy peasy we'll see you back here in a few minutes guys All right, paul let's move now to the roads we spoke with msp lieutenant mike shaw earlier and he highlighted i-75 in northern oakland county as a trouble spot our tim pamplin is driving that area now and joins us live tim what are you seeing it's the worst I've seen all day, guys. Uh, Lieutenant Shaw is absolutely right. 75 northbound at Clarkston. Earlier today, it was all just wet and slushy. Now look at it. The temperatures have dropped five degrees in the last hour. Winds have picked up, blowing snow, and the intensity of the snowfall has increased as well. There are no lanes on 75 northbound right now. You just guide it in the right, correct direction and hope for the best. Slow speeds is the order of the day up here. I believe I just saw a car spin out in front of me. Lots of brake lights. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Tim, thank you. And the shape and timing of the storm means some communities will get more snow than others. And you can check the banner at the bottom of your screen there for what's expected in your area, along with when the snow should stop falling Thursday. So right now, let's check on conditions in western Wayne County. Sean Lay has been out in Livonia. Let's turn things over to him. Sean? Devin, Kimberly, been out here all day long, and we want to give you a look at the changing conditions we saw. What's happening right now on the main road, still slushy, but starting to freeze as the temperature drops. That's something to look out for if you're heading out tonight. Behind me here in Livonia, the neighborhoods, that's a different story. So hour by hour, let's show you how this storm has been changing. Let's go through day one of this winter wallop together. 10 this morning, this is what I-96 in Detroit looked like. Head west with us sledding through wet slush on the freeway. But as we turn into the neighborhoods here in Livonia, the snow is starting to add up. Connor Hickson is 12 years old. He's got the snowblower out, but... The snowblower doesn't really work, so I have to shovel. Yeah. It looks like you are shoveling also for your neighbor. Yeah. Good job. That's the way to go. Why did you decide to do that? Well, because she's like 80 years old and she can't really do it herself, so I do it for her. Fist bump. X. Outstanding. Well, as we check in right here, it's 228 in the afternoon. We're in Livonia. You can see the snow starting to add up on the side streets, lawns and driveways. Check it out. It's really starting to hammer down right now. Wayne County salt trucks making a big difference on the road so far. And finally, some snow for people who plow for a living. Have you been waiting for a snow? You've been looking for yeah. some business? Waiting for big snow, yeah. Haven't done much this year. 
This is one heavy, wet snow. Some are trying to stay ahead of it by shoveling now. Others who ventured out for groceries today made a good call. Aldi in Livonia is stocked up and quiet. I had like five things I had to do today and I got two more stops and I'm done. Birthday cake. Whose birthday? My sister. Happy oh. birthday, Sylvia. Happy birthday, Sylvia. Okay, back here live in Livonia. We were here at this hour yesterday. The shops around this area absolutely packed a madhouse. It's an Aldi right here behind me. You can see absolutely quiet. Some people are coming here and getting the shopping done to avoid those crowds from yesterday. They're having a very uh, good luck here with very few people. We're live tonight in Livonia. Sean Lake, Local 4, back to you. All right, Sean, thank you. Over in Washtenaw County, the plows have been out for about 14 hours now. It's been a long stretch for those drivers. And in Ann Arbor, there's now a water main break to deal with too. Rod Maloney on Susan Street. Rod. Yeah, Devin, we're here and take a look. The crews are out there digging holes in the dirt underneath the snow here. It's a six inch water main break. They're telling me that it's not serious. It's not going to flood streets or mess up homes or anything, but it becomes a problem because they have at least four other guys out here, crew members from DPW who would normally be out in a snow plow right now and they need them. But right now this needs to be tended to. And so the uh, the entire Washtenaw County snowplow universe is out working as best they can, expecting perhaps still more snow than they'd like to see. With 5,000 tons of salt in the Zeeb Road Dome at the ready, Washtenaw County's 46 snowplows are attacking the quickly piling snow. The Road Commission's Emily Kaiser tells us. We started this morning at about 4 o'clock. Uh, our drivers did, and they'll be in the truck for about 16 hours today. Go home, get a quick rest, and then they'll be back at it for probably another 16-hour day tomorrow and maybe even Friday uh, and into the weekend. It really depends on what the weather does. And, of course, that's the big question. Will the storm peter out tonight, or will it build and drop the big snows we thought were coming? Emily showed us about a dozen massive snow plows sitting in the wings, having been painted by children and seniors groups over the summer. If it gets really bad out there tonight or tomorrow, they'll break these bad boys out. And we really need people to give us even more space when they see those because that it's, it creates a visibility issue. It's really hard to see over these as snow is flying and the driver's um, windshield. It's just, it, it's challenging to use. We'll use them if we need to. That extra weight makes the plows very unwieldy. Yet for all of the hard and exhausting work snow crews are doing for the county and the city, the private services, Paul, uh, they're smiling. This is the kind of payday they've been waiting for all winter, says Brian Luckhart of Unrestricted Outdoor Services. Been slow, so it's, it's glad it's snowing and we actually get some good money coming in now. So You're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> real happy. No one else is? No, nope, no one else is, but we are happy. Well, out here again on Susan Drive in Ann Arbor, the crews here who would be using the snow plows, driving those snow plows are out here doing the other hard work that they do. One of the things uh, that Ann Arbor residents can do if they want to see where the snow plows are and whether their street's going to get plowed anytime soon, go to clickondetroit.com. We have the Ann Arbor snow plow positioning map that they put up available to you. You can go to it right now and get a look. Reporting live from Ann Arbor, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Good look there. All right, Rod. Oakland County has about 100 trucks working the roads right now. Paula Tutman is live in Rochester to show us how things look there. Hi, Paula. Hi, good evening, everyone. Yeah, I want to talk about these changing conditions because it had been snowing. But right now, it's really more of a damp mist. But take a look around. Is this gorgeous or what? I'm at the Rochester Municipal Park. You can hear uh, Paint Creek babbling right here. And then I also want to give you a sense of just how deep this snow is. Uh-oh, that says 30. I'm on the wrong side. Sorry about that. It's not 33 inches. That says just a little more than two inches, and that's what I'm getting pretty much all around the park. But again, the conditions have changed. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. There's a little bit of snow, but it's mostly mist. But it does feel like it's getting colder, so it makes me wonder whether or not there's ice pack starting to form underneath the asphalt. Or I shouldn't say underneath the asphalt, underneath the snow on the asphalt. So just be careful out there, folks. It's a magical day, 2 22 
And it's beautiful. What a great day to be in Rochester, guys. <laughs> okay. Back to you. Yes, Paula. We appreciate it so much. Also, uh, let's head over to uh, the east side now to Macomb County. We've got Victor Williams in Mount Clemens, where Paul Gross said snow's been falling at a rate of about an inch an hour. Victor. Yes, that's right. It is coming down pretty lightly at this moment. It was coming down a little bit harder just a few moments ago, but it is accumulating on the ground. We're talking about two to three inches right now at this very moment. Not too many people out here walking in all of this, but there are people driving out in this right now at the moment. Now, the good thing is main roads, just like Gratiot Avenue right here, they have been plowed, but other residential streets like McKinnon right over here, not so much. So be very careful if you're going to be driving on roads like this. Just remember right now at this moment in time, the consistency of the snow is very slushy like. So once again, stay inside if you uh, can. Reporting live from Mount Clemens, Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor. Detroit Metro Airport ranking pretty high on the list of delayed and canceled flights today. But flights have been getting in and out. Hank Winchester is live with a check on air travel. Hank. Kimberly, Devin, good evening to both of you. Take a live look over my shoulder. You can see there are planes that are pulling away from the jetway, making their way out to the runways. That's the good news. So the good news in the situation is flights have been departing. Flights have been making their way into Metro throughout the day. The bad news, if you're making your way to another cold weather destination, especially the Midwest region, Chicago, Minneapolis, that's where we've been seeing the delays and the cancellations today. And they continue into this evening too early to predict what we're going to see on Thursday morning. That's why the travel experts say the best advice is for you to contact the airline directly before making your way here to the airport. That's the latest here from Metro. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. Local 4. As always, we appreciate it, Hank. And remember, Click on Detroit is your go-to place for updated winter storm information. You can find the full list of school closings and communities with snow emergencies, plus a place to share your snow photos. You can upload those at clickondetroit.com slash pins. When you wake up, be sure to tune in to Local 4 News today for up to the minute weather and traffic updates. They're going to get things started a little bit early at 430 AM. All right, let's turn our attention now to some of the other news of the day. The coronavirus situation here in Michigan, the state reporting a two day total of 18,803 new cases, averaging 9,400 cases a day. We've lost another 327 lives. The White House says it is ready to hit the ground running to vaccine, uh, vaccinate children as young as six months of age. Pfizer has requested emergency use authorization for its specially formulated shot, and the Biden administration says it has secured ample doses and the needles necessary to give out the shots as soon as it gets the green light from the FDA. Our weather coverage continues here at 6 with a look at the upside of all this snow. Megan. Who says snow days have to be dreadful? We take you to the slopes and show you why today is the perfect storm for skiers and snowboarders. Another look at the roads right now. A live look from our MDOT camera. State police say there have been no injuries in Wayne, Oakland, or Macomb counties as of 4 p.m. That's good news, but a few drivers have lost control, gotten stuck on the shoulders. So really be careful while you're driving because the snow is still coming down and will for some time. And Storm Tracker 4 showing you why snow is likely to continue falling until around midnight, but the picture is changing for the second part of the storm. Paul has the updated forecast just ahead. Tracking the storm. This is much, much heavier snow. Your updated snow totals by neighborhood. Local 4 weather, always watching, always tracking.